Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Tanner Gillette. I'm the Assistant Director of Graduate Recruitment here at the UB School of Nursing. Welcome to our series application Thursdays. Um, today, we are going to be talking about transcripts. Um, this is spoke series is where I talk about one specific application part of the application process in the School of Nursing. Our other sessions are up on the School of Nursing's YouTube page, and this session will be recorded and put up there as well. So with that, let's get started. So first, what is the difference between an official and an unofficial transcript? Super common when you're applying to graduate school or even when you're in school, uh, faculty and staff will talk about official transcripts or unofficial transcripts. So what are the difference? So transcripts are only official if they are sent directly to us as the receiving school from the issuing school. If they are sent anywhere else or they are opened by anyone else other than a school official, they are no longer a, a <clears throat> official transcripts. They are now considered unofficial transcripts. So if you order a transcript, you need to have it sent directly to us, not to yourself. Um, if you were to open the transcript, it would no longer be official, but accidents happen. And sometimes transcripts accidentally gets sent to the billing address rather than the shipping address. No problem, just take the envelope that's unopened and put it in a larger envelope and send it off to us and we'll open it, we'll receive it, and the transfer will still be official. So what transcripts does the School of Nursing require? We require a transcript from any school that you have attended on the collegiate level at all. So if you've only attended one school, so you only got your BSN, you never took any transfer credit, we only need that one transcript, it needs to be official. If you have one degree, your nursing degree, but you have transfer credit um, from other schools, we need transcripts from every school that you've attended. Even though on some transcripts it may list transfer credit, like say you took AMP one or AMP two at a community college and then you transferred into your bachelor's program, that's very common in the field of nursing. We still need a transcript from where you took those B, those anatomy and physiology courses, even though they may be listed on your BSN um, BSN transcript as transfer credit. So we need individual transcripts from every school that you've attended. However, we do not need any high school transcripts. And sometimes students will come in with college credit, but they took it, but they took a uh, AP class, and that's how they got like that Psych 101 credit. We don't need any AP courses. That's totally fine. Just high school tr transcripts. Um, we don't need AP transfer credits. We don't need, but if you took some transfer credits in high school, in college, we still need those. <clears throat> what transcripts need to be official versus unofficial? So often nursing students have a lot of different transcripts. Um, they either have a degree before they went to nursing school or they have a lot of transfer credit from a few different schools where they took their prereqs in order to get, get into their BSN courses. Um, and we understand that. And we're not going to make you get official transcripts from every single school that you've attended. So when it comes to what transcripts have to be official, Wherever you obtained your BSN, that transcript has to be official. If you have any type of master's degree, not just a master's of nursing, but like an MBA, um, I don't know, whatever else, what, any other uh, master's degree you, have, you may have, that needs to be official. And if you have transcripts from any school, even if you didn't, do, didn't get a degree there from outside the US. So if you have any international trans, uh, schools where you um, took courses at the collegiate level, those have to be official. I'll talk a little bit more about international transcripts in a little bit. Um, so we will accept unofficial transcripts from any school where you didn't get, get a degree. So that's, you know, those transfer courses that you took to get into your BSN program. If you have another bachelor's degree, that transcript can also be unofficial. Um, so if you have like an English degree before you found nursing, that can be unofficial. That's fine. Um, and we will also accept unofficial transcripts from any associate's degree that you may have. So let's talk a little bit more about unofficial transcripts. So while we will accept unofficial transcripts in the cases that I just laid out, um, unofficial does not mean that they can be in any sort of condition. Um, unofficial transcripts must have your name on them, the school's name on them, grades that you received at that school, including the calculated GPA um, with credit hours and quality points. 
Um, if you have an, a, a degree from that school, it needs to be listed that a degree was conferred. Um, unofficial does not mean that it's just like a series of grades that's printed from like a student portal or an advisement report. Um, that still doesn't won't pass the uh, threshold that we're looking for for unofficial transcripts. Uh, unofficial transcripts should never be screenshots, never ever upload screenshots. In general, they really shouldn't be longer than four pages. I would be shocked if that was the case. Um, and they shouldn't be printed more than three years ago. Sometimes students upload transcripts that they printed in 2010 and they've been sitting at the bottom of a bag. That's unfortunately does not pass our quality standards. So we need a new one. Again, it can be unofficial, but it still has to pass, you know, a certain threshold in order to be accepted by us. Um, as a rule of thumb, if your transcript was at the bottom of a bag for years or in a cupboard hidden away somewhere, um, it's not good enough to be uploaded to a graduate application. Um, you should still be getting us high quality transcripts. Um, by not giving us high quality transcripts, even on unofficial ones, you're really just slowing down the application process. We reserve the right to require an official transcript from any applicant for any transcript if we find that there are issues um, that we're seeing. And that does happen sometimes. I've had students upload transcripts with no grades on them. I've had students upload transcripts without a name on them. So I have no idea whose transcripts they are. I've had transcripts that have uploaded um, a transcript that was 36 pages long. That is my record. And they only took two classes at that school. Completely unacceptable. So in those cases, if there's issues like that that come up, we will request, we will, we will require you to get an official transcript. Um, so just be aware of that. So if you would, so as I said, I was going to talk a little bit more about on or international uh, transcripts. If you attended any institution outside the U.S., the transcript must be official and it must be in English. We will not review any unofficial international transcripts, period. Um, this is, you know, I'm not... We shouldn't be evaluating international transcripts, especially non-English ones, without some sort of official verification from the school. So we will not review those. We strongly recommend that you have an official valuation done with a service like the World Education Service, or WES as it's commonly known. Um, WES is kind of the gold standard when it comes to reviewing transcripts. Um, and having an unofficial transcript do evaluation done will convert your grades to the U.S. system to ensure that you're being reviewed properly. It's really for your benefit so that we are making sure that we can give you credit for absolutely everything that you've done in your education. Um, if there is a question um, and we don't have a less of a, an evaluation in general done, um, that can cause some confusion and some longer type issues. So we're pretty firm on this. You don't have to get a WES, but we strongly prefer it. Um, there are other um, evaluation agencies as well, um, but WES is kind of one of the gold standard units. So do we want electronic or paper copies of your transcripts? We do prefer electronic transcripts. However, this is really just because um, it will get to us quicker and it will not slow down the application process. Not that waiting for a mail transcript will super slow down the application process, but traditionally an email transcript or a digital transcript can get to us much faster. However, I know that not everyone will send us electronic copies of transcripts. So in with that case, we are more than happy to accept paper copies of transcripts if that's all you can obtain. Either one is completely fine. Electronic transcripts should be emailed to nursing at buffalo.edu and paper transcripts should be mailed to UB School of Nursing, graduate admissions, that call 3435 Main Street, Buffalo, New York, 14214. And with that, that does conclude our brief presentation on transcripts. This is just a very quick overview for common questions. If you do have any other questions about transcripts or any other part of the UB application, please let me know. My email is there, or you can give me myself my phone number at call at 716-829-3765. Uh, thanks so much, and don't forget to review our other application series that are up on the School of Nursing webpage. 
Um, if you have any questions about our programs or the application process, please feel free to reach out. Reach out. Have a good rest of your day, everyone.